Starting your morning news now with some breaking news just into the newsroom. Pope Francis announcing early this morning he's accepted lacrosse bishop William Patrick Callahan's retirement request after serving lacrosse area for 14 years. The Pope appointing Bishop Gerard Battersby to succeed Bishop Callahan and serve as the 11th bishop of the Diocese of Lacrosse. Bishop Battersby will be installed as bishop of the Diocese of Lacrosse on May 20th at the Cathedral of St. Joseph the Workman. Bishop Battersby currently an auxiliary bishop in Detroit. Turning now to some things happening today, the man accused of murdering Madeline Kingsbury is set to be back in court. 30-year-old Adam Fravel will appear in Winona County Court for a two-day hearing. He's currently fighting to move his trial out of the county. His attorneys arguing that heavy media coverage of the case will prevent him from getting a fair trial there. He faces two counts of first-degree homicide for the death of Kingsbury, his ex-girlfriend. The 26-year-old went missing last March after dropping the kids she shared with Fravel off at daycare. Her body was found a little over two months later near the town of Mabel, south of Winona. Pleasant Ridge Waldorf School in Viroqua will be closed today after what the school calls a loss in the school community. The closure includes parent-child classes, but the school says eighth grade project presentations will still be held as scheduled. Parts of Wisconsin Highway 35 and the Mississippi River will be closed this morning while crews demolish parts of the decommissioned Genoa coal plant. Staff from Dairyland Power Cooperative say they expect the highway to be shut down around 10 o'clock this morning and expect the road will be closed for less than 30 minutes. Parts of the Mississippi River will also be closed while crews demolish parts of the site. Today's scheduled demolition comes more than three years after the fire or after the coal-fired power plant that is was retired and decommissioned after providing power to the Cooley region for 52 years. The City of La Crosse is joining the list of municipalities activating burn bans. According to a release by the La Crosse Fire Department, the City of La Crosse and Town of Madary now under burn bans. The Wisconsin DNR says fire danger for La Crosse County is very high. The city's burn ban includes the use of charcoal grills and recreational fire pits. Other municipalities currently under burn bans include the towns of Shelby, Greenfield, Hamilton and Barry, the village of West Salem, and the city and town of Onalaska, as well as Vernon County. The La Crosse School Board will ask voters to approve consolidating Emerson and Spence Elementary into a new school and expanding State Road to absorb Hingen Elementary. This comes after a referendum was approved last night. Under the plan, Emerson and Spence would combine into a new school at the Hogan Administrative Center site. State Road would get an addition with a new gym and eight classrooms to absorb students from Hingen. The board has been set on merging Emerson and Spence for weeks now. Last night's meeting focused on potentially adding the State Road and Hingen consolidation to the referendum. The community knows that we cannot, we cannot hold on to all the buildings that we have. We just can't. I would rather ask the community one question, move forward with this answer and proceed forward together rather than to do one question and then, oh, by the way, oh, by the way. Initial data shows the net property tax impact will be $44 for every 100,000 of property value. Board members say if this referendum passes, the district will be done with consolidating classes at all three levels. In-person absentee voting is underway in Wisconsin with the presidential primaries for both ballots, with both parties on the ballot. Voters will also decide on two constitutional amendments regarding election administration and local school races like school board, county board, and certain judge seats are up for election. Early voting for the city of La Crosse is available at five locations through March 29th. Temperatures this morning starting in the lower to middle 30s, most spots between 30 and 36 degrees, 32 in Eau Claire, 34 in La Crosse. A mix of clouds and sun, briefly warmer today, but windy. Highs around 52, northwesterly winds 10 to 20, gusting to 35. Then it gets cold again, 30s for highs on several of the next eight days. Good chance of snow Thursday night into Friday morning. And yeah, we could see anywhere from two to five, maybe six inches of snow. Uh, by the time all is uh, wrapping up by Friday afternoon. So stay tuned for that.